We're going to take mom's iPad to Grandma's house. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's see. I really I need to finish my homework. Hi, Shabby. I'm going to put it up there to see what we got. Clapping to the phone. Oh, my God. Ms. McLaughlin, you're muted. We can't hear the song. and girls. Okay, I've got a good story for you, but before we uh, start sing, hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine. All right, boys and girls, today, uh, your, the question of the day is, what do you like about trees? What do you like about food? Now, I'm going to ask you that right after we read the story called A Tree is Nice. Because in this story, it talks about all the different things that we like about trees. Okay? So you guys pay attention so you can tell me what it is you like about trees. All right? And then we've got a game to play. So let's see if Mr. Glopling can get this going. Oh, I'm supposed to pin myself. Are you going to present it or just read it? Oh, there it goes. Since I'm in the little square, it's hard for me to read. But, uh, um, okay. Gabby, 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 guys, can you go ahead and mute yourself? Look, 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 look. 
Blub, 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 blub. I can't. You can't do that, Miss Penny, right? Okay, is everybody muted? Abby, you get, we got to stay muted so we can listen to the story. Okay, here we go. Pictures by Mark Simont. Trees are very nice. They fill up the sky. They go beside the rivers and down the valleys. They live up on the hills. Trees make the woods. They make everything beautiful. Even if you have just one tree, it is nice too. A tree is nice because it has leaves. The leaves whisper in the breeze all summer long. In the fall, the leaves come down and we play in them. We walk in the leaves and roll in the leaves. We build playhouses out of the leaves. Then we pile them up with our rakes and have a bonfire. A tree is nice because it has a trunk and limbs. We can climb the tree and see over all the yards. We can sit on the limb and think about things. Or play pirate ship up in the tree. Happy tree, we can climb it to pick the apples. Cats can from dogs by going up the tree. Birds build nests in trees there. A tree is nice. Boys and girls, can you look at your um um screen and make sure you're muted? Hit the microphone button, please. Abby, better be muted. <laughs> Thank you. It is a good place to lean your hoe while you rest. A tree is nice because it makes shade. Cows lay down in the shade when it's hot. People have picnics there too. And the baby takes a nap in his buggy in the shade. A tree is nice for a house to be near. The tree shades the house and keeps it cool. The tree holds off the wind and keeps the wind from blowing the roof off the house sometimes. A tree is nice to plant. You dig the biggest hole you can and put the little tree in. Then you pour in lots of water and then the dirt. You hang the shovel back in the garage. Every day for years and years, you watch the little tree grow. You say to people, I planted that tree. They wish they had one so they could go home and plant a tree too. Well, there's Mikey. Hi, Mikey. All right, boys and girls, and that story, we talked about all kinds of things that uh, trees do. Trees do for us or what we get to do to a tree. So uh, let's start with Miss Stephanie. Miss Stephanie, what do you like about trees? I like watching the pretty leaves change color in the fall. Oh, yes, that's nice. Some trees are just beautiful. All right. <laughs> Can you unmute yourself and tell me what you like about trees? Feedy? What do you like about trees? Yeah, apple tree. You, you like the apple trees? And why do you like the apple trees? I grow up and it make green and it make yellow. Yeah. And makes red. You're right. So there are many different colors of apples. And what do you like to do with the apples? Do you like apples? Do and you like, orange. Mm -hmm. Do you like and to eat green, apples? And orange. 
Do you like to eat about apples? Meat? Do you like to eat the apples? Do you like to to use the apples and make apple pie? What do you, what do you like about the apples? No, 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 no. Do you like to eat apples? Uh, hmm? My ceiling board. Three. <laughs> okay. Board. All right, let's go to James. James, what do you like about the trees? Uh, I like when them fall. You like when the leaves fall? Or, yeah. when the, or when the tree falls? I like when the leaves fall. When the leaves fall, yeah. Yeah, and that's kind of what Miss Stephanie was talking about. Well, she liked it when they changed color. Okay, Mikey, your turn. Mikey, what do you like about trees? Mikey likes the apples so he can uh, have apple juice. Oh, very good. Because without apples, without apple trees, we wouldn't be able to drink apple juice, would we? Excellent. Okay, Abby, what do you like about trees? Trees put some water. Say it again. Plants and put some water. You have to water the plants yeah. and water the trees so they'll grow. Um, yeah, but it turns apple juice. Yep, we take pick the apples off the apple tree to make apple juice. But it's important if you plant a tree to make sure that you water it so the tree will grow and grow and grow and grow, right? Yeah, but it only grows so faster. Yeah. Aline, what do you like about trees? Can you think of what you like about trees? Is Aline here? Aline, can you unmute yourself? It's the microphone. Okay, Aline, we can come back to you, honey, if you if you can find the, the microphone button. I don't know if you can help Miss Stephanie or not. I don't know what to do. Okay. All right. So, boys and girls, we we're talking about trees. Oh, I forgot to tell you what my favorite thing is about trees. My favorite thing about trees are climbing in them. I like to climb in a tree. I like to climb up the trunk, and I like to sit on a branch and look high up in the sky, and I look can look far over the other houses. And that's what I like to do. Oh, good. I mean, what do you like about trees, my friend? Yeah, yeah. Aline, what do you like about trees? Do you like seeing the bird Apples. You like apples? Oh, we've got a lot of friends liking apples and apple trees. That's for sure. All right, nice boys and girls. Now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to, when we get done, I want you to get a piece of paper and I want you to draw a picture of what you like about cream. And then I want you to send me a picture of your picture, okay? If our dad or mom can just type in a note that says, Phoebe likes apples. Okay, you need different colors of apples. All right. Okay. So let's get started with my game. All right. I'm going to. We're going to have to mute again. So everybody mute. Everybody um, mute. Okay. All right. Here we go. We're going to start with Aline. Oh, how do I do this? Here we go, Miss Stephanie. You may have to. Oh, that Miss Stephanie told me how to do it. Am I supposed to pin myself right now? Yeah, try it. And where's that at? The three dots by your name. Oh, you know Miss McLaughlin. 
So the top right is a little people symbol. That's participants. Okay. I'm going to find you. And no, I don't see it. I see me. There. Yep. Okay. Oh, there I am. Okay. <laughs> All right. Boys and girls, what do you see here? What is that? What? What is this? Looks like a really, really big tree. Well, it's kind of a funny looking tree, I'll tell you that. Because yeah. Mrs. McLaughlin is not the best artist, but I decided we could play this game. All right, so let me get organized here. All right, Aline, we're going to start with you. Okay, uh, where's Aline? There, Aline's there. Okay, Aline, would you put a zebra or a bumblebee in the tree? Bumblebee. The bumblebee, very good. And if I was really good, I would draw a, 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 a pie, but I haven't done that yet. Okay, all right. So let's see who's next. Abby, Abby, would I put an alligator or a bird in my tree? Bird. Say it again. A bird. Very good. Oh, I have to draw a bird's nest. So I, so far, I have a bird and a bumblebee. All right. So let's see who's next. Uh, let's go feeding. feeding. Could I put an owl or a hippo in my tree? What it? Say. Owl. Owl. Excellent. Oh, I should have made an owl. All right. All right. Miss Stephanie. Oh, <laughs> what? Who's next? Uh, how about James? Oh, good. James. James, I think this is an elephant. And this is a ladybug. Which one goes in my tree? Oh, sure, sure. A ladybug. A ladybug, excellent. And we read a story yesterday about the grouchy ladybug. Remember that grouchy ladybug was eating the it, well, not the leaves. The ladybug was eating the aphids that were on the tree, and aphids yeah, were these little bugs that like to that like to eat leaves. Oh, Miss Ebony. Uh, I think Mikey needs to turn. Oh, Mikey! All right, Mikey. How long it? Does a cow belong in a tree or a squirrel? Uh, yeah. Squirrel climb in the tree. Squirrel yeah. climbs in the tree. Good. The squirrel likes it. We'll put him right there on that branch. Excellent. Miss Stephanie, who's left? That's everybody. What? That's <laughs> everybody. All right. You guys all answer this one together. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. Which one? I'm going to make it tricky. Ooh. All right. I'm going to trick you. You ready? Does, uh, what is this? A cheetah? Does a cheetah? A cheetah. A lion? Or a monkey belong in the tree? A monkey or a monkey? Yeah. Monkey. Monkey. Now, we don't have monkeys around here other than in the zoo, but the monkey, the monkey likes to climb in the tree, doesn't he? Now, guys, the lion and the cheetah, we could put down here, couldn't we? But they can be, they could be on the ground, couldn't they? All right. Wow, you boys and girls did a nice job. Okay, count our animals that belong in the tree. Count with me, folks. One, two, 
Chris Amos. Is that number six? Not a six? Yeah. That's there number six. six. Excellent. If I, if I have six animals in the tree, that's one of three, how many do I have left? If it's one of the six, how many is left? Five. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Get the brain. Get your brain. All right, let me see what I All right, I don't know where my number five is. Okay, let's keep going. So, if I have five animals in the tree and the owl flies away, of Mrs. McLaughlin up in a tree. I like to climb a tree. Right?